Hi and welcome again to another episode. My name is Chris and today this is going to be real short and simple. We are reseeding the Wi-Fi card on this place too. Um, before we start troubleshooting internally with settings and drivers, we want to make sure that your Wi-Fi card right there is properly seated and being detected by the system. So as we all know and love the Blaze 2, let's start with taking the panel off. Wiggle it, pulling it out, there you go. And here we go. All right, just for clarity here, this is your Wi-Fi card right there. And it has a cable connecting to a USB header that is for your Bluetooth connection. In the case that it is not properly seated, you will lose Bluetooth, but you will still have Wi-Fi. Okay, on the previous video, like I said, take this all the way out. Pull it out, set it aside. And what you want to do to reseat your Wi-Fi, I mean, this is pretty common. This, these things don't have the retainers that the graphics cards usually have. So there's a high chance that they might be wiggled during transportation, well, because of vibrations or impacts. You really can't guarantee how um, shippers uh, handle the product so one safe bet to do is to loosen the screw and reseat the wi-fi card and make sure everything is in its place once you get that one screw out what i do is i usually hold hold it like this with the connectors so i can give it a little force to pull out and i hold it here and i just pull gently as you can see it's now out. You want to make sure this connection is properly seated. And then we just reverse the process, insert it back to that slot, press it firmly, replace the screw. And as always, reverse the process, put this back on. Um, this little screw there, tighten it up. Put the glass panel back on. Close it, put the two retainer screws there and there, and you have reseated your Wi Fi card. Um, if it still doesn't uh, get detected by the uh, operating system, contact us. We'll send you a replacement. Uh, otherwise, we can go on ahead and remote in and troubleshoot the settings. Make sure it's compatible with your network and you're connecting to the right frequency for higher speed. Well, I hope you found this one helpful. Um, if you need other uh, tips on uh, troubleshooting your computers, check out the rest of the videos in this channel. And I hope this helped out. I'll see you on the next one. My name is Chris.